So we've got a series of levels and we need a way to transition between them. So we'll build this nice level transition scene. This level transition scene consists of an area 2D with a collision shape. It's going to be configured so that it's on a layer mask that looks for collision just with our player. And it's going to do things like allow us to change the size. So here when we set the size or the location of this transition, it's going to update the rendering of this level transition in the editor. So we can see what it's going to look like. So left, right, top, or bottom, as well as the size here, right? So we can use this to adjust just how big it is. So if we have those big entrances like we've got here, we can configure that as well. Now the script also is going to handle when the player enters. So we'll connect to that. But where you can see here, I've got a nice scene manager that we're going to introduce, a global script to our project that's going to allow us to have signals that dictate when things should happen to kind of help us avoid a lot of the bugs that could arise from doing a system like this. And then this scene manager, whenever our player enters one of these scenes, it's going to send this information, you know, the direction it is, what level they need to load next, and which level transition they're going to spawn at. We'll send that over to a global script that we'll call our scene manager. And then this sucker is going to orchestrate the whole thing. It's going to come in here, fire off some signals. We're going to do things like fade screen using a tween and asynchronous function. And then we'll use the get tree, change scene to file to load a new scene. And all of this is going to kind of happen within here. And then of course, these level transitions are going to have to hook back to that. They'll respond to signals like when our load scene is finished or when the new scene is ready, then let's go ahead and do things like position the player or set up this area to monitor for the player. And we're going to build in stuff like these physics awaits to make sure that we don't get weird overlap as the player transitions between scenes. And uh, it's going to be kind of handy. So if you want to learn how this all comes together, then go ahead and follow the link to the full video.